St. Gail is obsessed with planes. As she comes to visit her parents during summer, St. Gail never misses watching the air show. She is so fascinated with planes that she even wanted to take flight lessons but somehow feels hesitant. Aust tries to convince people to join the raffle for a free airplane ride when she sees St. Gail and it was like love at first sight for Aust. <laughs> She quickly went to San Gail and convinced her to join the raffle and got the number 17. San Gail won the raffle but did not push through with the free airplane ride and Alst introduced herself and told San Gail she could visit her at the canteen and have coffee. <laughs> St. Gail's parents have an unhappy marriage that they even forget to ask her how she is doing. This is why St. Gail indulges to self-harm and feels like her parents don't want her. St. Gail went to visit Aust and that was the start of a friendship that later blossomed into romance. Aust invites St. Gail to be with her friends for a night swim. St. Gail somehow explores her sexuality when she notices a guy likes her when she also seems to like Aust. St. Gail did not felt being left out since Aust never left her side and even took care of her. That is when Aust feels more attracted to St. Gail. St. Gail went home and then her mother called her and asked how come she came home late. <laughs> <laughs> the next day she went to see those who were taking flight lessons and somehow felt disappointed that she can never be a pilot since she has fears of heights and has vertigo. Aust invites St. Gail to go and visit her. That's when she knew that Aust is a photographer and wants to be in the fashion industry. <laughs> Aust wants to make a dress for St. Gail and tells her to take off her shirt so that she can take her measurements. That's when they both feel the tension but somehow able to control their feelings. St. Gail joins another night swim with Aust and their friends. This is when St. Gail finally realizes that she is not into guys and that she is attracted to Aust. <laughs> They both started to really feel attracted to each other that even when Oz started to make St. Gail's dress, she felt the tension. They started to spend more time together as Oz took photos of St. Gail wearing the dresses that she designed. Stick to mom, Papa's Oz noticed the scars on St. Gail's wrist and that's when Oz knew what St. Gail's has been going through. <laughs> St. Gail reveals that she dreamt about Aust and that she was drowning and she was there to save her. Then they both felt the tension and they made love for the first time. St. Gail now feels comfortable sharing her life experiences with Aust. She even reveals that her parents somehow did not like the name they gave to her. <laughs> Aust tells St. Gail to stop hurting herself and that she has to try to overcome your fears. Aust was able to convince St. Gail to try flight lessons, but by the time she finished the lessons, she got so mad towards Aust. <laughs> St. Gail felt disappointed with herself because her fears took over her when Oz forced her to take the lessons, then tells Oz she doesn't want to see her again. St. Gail regrets what she did and went to visit Oz. <laughs> They were able to patch up things and then spend their time again at the forest while making love. St. Gail cries when she goes to the highest part of the building because she really wanted to overcome her fears and then Aust encouraged her that she could do it. 
Sun Gail finally overcomes her fears and becomes a pilot. Two years passed, Oz visited Sun Gail while having lessons and was happy to see her living her dream. Oz tells Sun Gail she was accepted in a fashion school. But she's tired. It's back. <laughs> Oz stares at St. Gail and it's like telling her how happy she is that finally St. Gail overcame her fears. But at the same time, she knows she has to say goodbye to her. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.